car insurance. We have cars, we have houses we pay. So I don't know. Um, exactly. <laughs> so, and your sister is a doctor? She is, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So in, in her spare time, possibly she's, you know, working on clients both in the uh, the doctor's office and selling clothes maybe. Maybe she'll do it part-time or something. But <laughs> She can do a little side hustle, promote herself to her patients. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. I don't know if they're pa the patient's people might be like, uh, new doctor. <laughs> but uh, no, no, no. I think that's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Uh, do, now, does your family ever try to like give you clothes to sell? They do. My mom actually did. She came and saw me while I was in in Georgia, and she gave me a few things to sell. She actually has some good some good taste, especially when it comes to like the vintage part. So it it was some good pieces. <laughs> now, what what is um like? What are you selling on Poshmark? What what type of clothing are you selling? Women's clothing. I was on there and I was creeping and saw some women's clothing, but. Is there like, is it like vintage stuff or, or what, tell me a little bit about what you're selling. So I am known for having a lot of vintage pieces. I love vintage fashion. That's the one thing that really got me into fashion and like this industry. Um, I do have some name brands in there, um, but I do that in my, my personal life. I like to mix vintage pieces with um, name brand stuff and just create this really cool, like unique look that not everybody else has. Um, so that's something that I'm really known for. And I think that's something my customers really appreciate. Um, and I think it's funny when people say there's not a market for vintage on Poshmark because really it's more of like a brand based app. Um, uh, but it's all about how you market it. So, um, you're not only looking at a Poshmark ambassador here, um, uh, and the way it's funny, Poshmark is smart. They're like, okay, we're going to create this ambassador program, but it's almost like a video game. You have to like, your fingers bleed. You have to like share a bunch of closets. You have to share your closets. You have to get 15 sales. Um, yeah. It's like literally is a video game. That CEO is smart. And do you ever see him in the pictures? He's got like, I remember watching on Instagram. I can't remember whose Instagram it was, but he was in the middle of like 30 girls. Yeah. And I'm, <laughs> what a life that guy has, right? Uh, He's a genius when you think about it. He really is. <laughs> I, I was like shocked. I was like, who is that guy? Who is that guy? Um, I didn't say lucky guy because I am one lucky guy with Ashley, but I can only imagine, right? It's crazy. So, okay. So let's take two sets back. Tell me a little bit like basic bare bones. Like how do you get started on Poshmark? Like give us, give us the skinny on Poshmark real quick and then we'll dive into this. All right. The skinny. I'm really bad at the skinny. I'm a rambler. We talked about this. Um, the skinny is basically you take items. You can take items from your own closet. A lot of people do that when they're starting out. Just items that you don't wear anymore. Good condition. No flaws. I'm a firm believer in, in the no flaws. <laughs> um, but you just take a picture of it. You can do flat lays. You can hang it on a hanger. If you have a mannequin, you can do it that way. There's really no rule to it. Just make it look good make it presentable, um, be as descriptive as you can in your descriptions, include measurements. Um, if there is a flaw, if there happens to be one, definitely disclose that. The size, the material, you would think that this would not be like super important, but it is. Um, and I get questions all the time about what material it is. So be sure and include that. Um, and just if somebody asks you a question, be open, honest, upfront. And um, if someone sends you an offer, um, if it's a lower offer that you're not willing to take, always counter offer. Always. I don't care. Don't decline it. Because, you know, of course, someone's going to see if they can get it for that low price. So when they know what your lowest price is, then they can counter, you know, you can go back and forth and so on and so on. So. And then you just you make a sale. Poshmark makes it really easy to ship. They you just print out the shipping label from your email and send it off. You don't even have to go to the post office. You can get them to pick it up from your house or drop it in a blue box. Um, and I was really excited when um, the labels work now for my Rolo printer. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was excited for that. It's guys, what what is going on eBay? I love you eBay, but literally like. You're gonna let you're gonna let little Poshmark beat you in the shipping game. Like Poshmark shipping is incredible. I'm it is spoiled. incredible. So it, spoiled. Yeah. <laughs> How does that work? Come on, eBay. Come on, eBay. Um, no, I 
Um, I, we'll talk about the shipping on Poshmark. I think it's really, really cool. Basically, um, the buyer pays for the shipping, and then you can put it in any priority box uh, that fits, basically. So, I mean, there's it's just really, really easy down, uh, down straightforward. It's crazy. So, um, all right. So, and then when I when I first started, I actually got a host pick. Have you ever gotten any host picks before? I I have gotten a few in the past few weeks. It's like they all started flooding in at once, and it's it's a good feeling. <laughs> What is a host pick? So a host pick is where there's like, I think there's six hosts in each party. So the parties that happen throughout the day, um, there's about six uh, people who are running or hosting that party. And they go through the feed, uh, the stuff that's being shared to the party, and they can pick an item. And that goes to everyone who's sharing to the party. So off topic, but can you make a living just selling on Poshmark? I mean, do you think you really can make a living just selling on Poshmark? Because I know a couple of people will do that. Of course, of course. It's all about, it's, it is what you make of it. The effort that you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. And I tell people this all the time. What's full-time to me or what's full-time to you is, is different. It differs. You know, I don't have children. I have a roommate. I have very minimal bills because that's the way I choose to live. So it's easy for me to make a full-time living. You know, some others who have children, I, you know, props to the stay at home moms who are full time poshers. That's hard work. <laughs> um, so we have a we have one of your fans in chat. I don't know if you can see, but Hickory, <laughs> an amazing fan of yours. She loves you. She loves you. <laughs> I'm her number one fan. Oh, I love her so much. She really is. <laughs> um, it's it's incredible. Like to, to like you know, not only resell, but also like get to know people. I think it's really, really cool. Um, you know, had, I'm sure I would have had you on at some point, but had I not seen that post and randomly asked you to come on and you were gracious enough to say yes, like we wouldn't be here today. It's just crazy uh, that just a little, one little thing can change, you know? Um, so, okay. I am on Posh. Um, I'm excited for Posh Q4. I think it's going to be really, really cool. I do a lot of men's clothing. I do have some women's clothing on there though, not vintage, but um, oh. So, yeah, oh yes, oh yes. Uh, in fact, we see you. We uh, see you. <laughs> yeah, let me see over here. Let me pull up my Poshmark app over here, just so you guys can see I'm actually a real posher. Um, let's <laughs> it's see. It's true. The rumors are true. <laughs> the rumors are not just eBay. Not just eBay. Po By the way, guys, I changed my. Um, I actually changed my backdrop. I'm an ambassador. I've got 12,000 followers, and I've only been on there for a few months, uh, 5,300 shares, uh, 241 listings, and I'm following 5,018 people, soon 5,019 people, so I can follow Christina. But um, <laughs> So can you run down like how that works? So literally, I'll show you guys. It's super, super easy. Um, okay, so basically all you do is – you guys have you guys have seen all my shows. I'm a firm believer in being on a couple multiple pl platforms, guys. And if you have Poshmark questions, put it in chat. But um, you just click sale. Literally take photos from your phone, and they're in square mode. So I take all my um, photos on eBay in square mode too, so I can just transfer those listings. Oh, you see McDonald's? And, oh, you don't? Okay, good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you uh, you take your photos. You literally like there's drop down menus. You fill them out. And then that's it. It's live. Like it is that easy. Um, I, I think it's incredible. But can you run down like, do you have like a method to your madness of how you share? Like what is sharing? A lot of people get hung up on that. They're like, I just want to post it and it sells. And I'm, a, I'm always like, hey, post a ton of it. And then fourth quarter, share a bunch. At least it's on there. But yeah, can you explain like just the basics of that portion too? Um, so for me, I don't really have a method. <laughs> To my madness, it's just madness. Um, I share my closet whenever I get a chance. Whenever I'm just like sitting down, um, if I'm at you know Starbucks waiting on my coffee, or I'm at a restaurant waiting on my food, I'm watching TV. Whenever I get that downtime, I just I share my closet. It's becoming like second nature to me, and I feel like a lot of postures are the same. Uh, other postures are the same way, especially if you're full time. Um, it, it's hard to shut that off. You're just always, <laughs> I can be laying in bed at midnight sharing. Like <laughs> it's just, 
I don't really have a method. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. It's uh, it, like you, it sounds like you integrate it with your life. Like as you have downtime, you share. Um, and I, one thing that I've really helped me when I share is, um, so I used to share from the phone and that I was like, and I still do a little bit, but then that was like, oh man. Um, so now what I do basically is I open up a web browser on the computer and you know you can zoom a web browser out so you can see a lot. And then what yeah. I'll do is share it from the web browser. Cause I feel like I can share like three or four times as fast from the web browser. Like you open up web browser, go to poshmark.com. On the right hand side, you can zoom the web browser like in and out. It's not a Poshmark feature, it's like the web browser feature. Right. And then you zoom it out as much as you can and then you can click a bunch of them. Um, yeah. and, uh, and that's really quick. Do you ever share on the computer or are you primarily doing it on your phone? I always, always share from my laptop um, unless I'm doing the edit next list method. Um, I will do that from my phone just because it's easier to do from the phone. Uh, but I always share on my laptop. It's so much quicker. <laughs> Uh, the real guys, if you have questions, put it in chat. Oh, and then those of you who are brand new to the channel, watching this for the first time, I'm constantly putting in her amazing YouTube channel. She's got a plethora of amazing, cool videos. And guys, go over there, subscribe to her. She's uh, already established on YouTube, and I highly recommend it. Please let me know what number subscriber you are, so when you come back, if possible, I can shout you out because I know that she's at like 3,000 now. So I don't know if it actually shows the number count or not, but um. If you want to learn about Poshmark, that's the link. It's in chat. And then if you guys are watching this after the fact, it'll be in the description below. But um, so the um, I, I've been hearing lately, Chris, one of my friends, Daily Refinement, I always want to say 10K on the Bay, but he's renting yeah. a house for a Posh Party, Posh Fest. Like, what is this Posh Fest? Can you explain that? So Posh Fest is an annual conference where you get together, you network with other poshers, um, the CEO is there, a lot of people from Poshmark are there, um, they have panels and it's just like a big convention and Poshmark likes to party. <laughs> they do, they do. They have little Posh Party Lives in different cities where they go to different cities and I went to the one in Fort Lauderdale because that was the closest one to me. And it was, we were on a rooftop bar, living life in downtown Fort Lauderdale. It was great. It was a good networking experience. That, it sounds like fun. I may have to join it. Um, I may have to join it with Chris. So why does Poshmark have so many bad um, complaints on their app? Um, I want to start up a closet, but I have zero customer service people to talk to. I'm not too, cause I'm guys just, just full, full disclosure. I'm super new to Poshmark. Like my goal on Poshmark is to have like 14 to 1500 items before fourth quarter, like before the end of fourth quarter. So I'm completely new, but I, so I don't know any like of that stuff, but uh, do you by chance? I, the one thing is I don't think they have customer service on the phone. I think it's all email, but they were pretty quick to get back to me. So it is, it is by email. They don't have a number that you can call, which may be why people are um, complaining. Uh, but they are, they're really quick. Anytime I've ever had an issue, they've emailed me back within 24 hours, sometimes even within 12 hours. So in my experience, they've been very good with customer service and I haven't had an issue. And I, um, Chris was telling me that you can, in some cases, if you guys are, are wanting to have two different closets, um, sometimes they approve you know, multiple clauses, not just one. If you email them and explain, you know, up completely honest me, like, Hey, maybe I want a men's clothing closet and a women's clothing closet. So I have heard that's a thing. Um, and yeah. so if you guys want multiple closets, Mr. Pac-Man, what's going on, my man? Let's see what number 3089. I love doing shows with the, uh, multiple digits cause it makes it more interesting. Purple 92. Amazing. Amazing. Christina's got good. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about um, the, where, first of all, where do you live? How many days are you sourcing and where are you sourcing at typically? Okay. So I live in West Palm Beach, Florida, South Florida. Um, I was just sourcing at regular Goodwills. Um, we have a big thrift store here called Super Thrift. I think they have a couple more locations. I think there's one in Texas. Um, that's been a really good place for me for vintage stuff. Um, and I recently started going to the bins, the Goodwill Outlet Center. <laughs> I went yesterday and it was, it was really good. I was surprised. <laughs> so 
That's interesting. That so yeah. what what's the prices of the bins over there? So the bins here is a dollar ninety nine from like zero to twenty five pounds, and then once you exceed twenty five pounds, it's a dollar sixty nine per pound. Now, did you have to put your like football helmet on, like your gear, or I mean, tell me a little bit about because every bin's different. Ours they put them all in a row, and then everybody has to wait, and then you can dive in. Um, yeah, is that kind of how you guys have it? Yeah, so ours here is a huge location. It's like a big warehouse, and I actually uploaded a video. Today's my upload day, so you can go watch that shameless self-plug. Um, but I filmed in the bin so you can kind of see what it looks like in there. I, I read the reviews online, and my first experience with the bins was in Savannah, Georgia, and it was very calm, very, like, not at all like people had said that it would be. And so I was a little nervous about Florida because people in Florida are a little more aggressive and, and rude. <laughs> so I brought my fanny pack and I, I took a pocket knife. To be honest, I was scared. <laughs> I was like, I need to be ready. I need pepper spray. <laughs> but it wasn't bad at all. <laughs> For some reason, I just got like the picture of you walking in with like, you know, a harness and like you got all your stuff on just ready for battle, ready for battle. Um, I, think I think the Florida thing is just because it's hot and humid, you know? Yeah, uh, I'm angry because it's so hot outside. <laughs> so do you, uh, let's see, do you get many returns from Posh? How does the return process work for Posh? I have actually never, I got to knock on wood, I've never had a return on Posh, ever. <laughs> I'm very, very thorough, and I think that's something that, will save you from getting returns. Be super thorough with your descriptions. You can never be too thorough. <laughs> um, wow, a year on Posh no Sign me up. Holy <laughs> crap, that is amazing. No. Uh, so one, one question, and guys, if you have, by the way, two things. Um, if you have a Poshmark closet and you wanna put your Poshmark name, by all, mean, by all means, my channel, I am 100% um, open for you guys to advertise yourself. If you have YouTube channel names, Poshmark names, eBay names, your real name, mannequins names, whatever you want to put in there, go ahead and put in there. Um, you guys are more than welcome to. But uh, so I've never, I know that Poshmark returns are kind of like, it's not like eBay. It's a lot different. It's like, it's pretty much if you get a return, I believe, and I could be wrong. Um, I believe like there's some sort of like dispute process or something. I don't know. Um, Poshmark tends to be like the mediator, so it goes to Poshmark from what I've seen, and they review it, um, and you know the customer states their side of the story, you state your side, and then they you know determine what happens. And I've heard that they're very good about returns if they feel like okay, maybe the item was flaw, but they feel like it was just overlooked, that it wasn't intentional. They'll release funds to both, so uh, the customer will get their money back, and your um, as the buyer, your earnings will get released as well. Now, I did have a question. I'm sorry, guys, if I missed that. But do you think, like, in your – I know you do a lot of vintage, which I'm assuming is used. Like, do you think that you clothing going into fourth quarter is going to be good for you? I think so, yeah. Um, I know a lot of people go to retail stores like TJ Maxx and Marshalls, especially right now with the yellow tag sale. Um, and I feel like it is good to have some new with tag stuff in your closet. Um, but at the end of the day, it, it really starts to get oversaturated. I'm very careful with what I pick up, um, like at TJ Maxx or Marshall's, um, because then everybody has it. And ultimately the customer is going to go with whoever has it listed the lowest because they see that there's so many. And, uh, so I know, okay, okay guys. So when you're doing Poshmark, basically, um, Run, Christina, you're the you're the expert here. Run through like how many pictures can you have, and then also can you touch on the title? Like, can you can you like give us an example of like a good title to use? Uh, for okay. example, you know, because I've heard conflicting information about Poshmark. Like, you you don't put the size because they have the drop down menu of the size. Like, how how would a title work for you by chance? So a title for me, if I've looked, if it's a current item, and I've looked up like the style. Um, name of it and I've found the actual piece like on um, let's say lucky brands website I'll use like what what it's actually called because a lot of people will with brands be searching out that you know specific name 
Um, when it comes to vintage stuff, I always put vintage in the title. If I know like what sort of like decade it's from, I'll put like 80s, 90s, whatever it may be. Um, and then I'm just descriptive. If it has ruching, I'll put ruched or um, if it's metallic, I'll put metallic in the title. I try to be, you know, very descriptive in the title, especially with vintage. Brand name is a little different. You can just put like the brand name, like lucky brand peasant blouse or something like that. But with Poshmark, they do have the description box that does show up in the algorithm as well. Um, so if you put like um, a descriptive word in your description, <laughs> it will show up in the algorithm as well. <laughs> um. I actually did not know that. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not very district. Yeah, I, I guess I put like the measurements, but I don't put any really much what much else in the description. So I think I need to up my game there. Um, so uh, we do have. Are you going to Posh Fest again this year? I've never been to Posh Fest actually, and I'm not going this year just because it it didn't work out. Uh, Time-wise, it's in the middle of something important in my life, so I will not be attending. But next year, I I'll be there. I'm going to make it a point. <laughs> it, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but Poshmark's kind of like your own little community, right? Like you guys have like like Christina Thrifts. I I really like her. She's cool. She does a lot of posh. Then you got yeah. um, um, uh, Boss Resell, who's going to be on later today. She does posh, like. It's a, it's a really cool community. Like it's, it's really funny to see, like you got like the postures over here, the eBayers over here, the Amazoners. I don't know if that's a thing. Amazoners. Amazoners. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag yeah. name down below. What is it? <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. I may have just started something just now. I don't Am know. Amazonians maybe. <laughs> oh my, that would be amazing. Is there any Amazonians in chat? Let me know. Let me know if there's any Amazonians in chat. Um, how many pictures can you have on Poshmark? I completely forgot. Is it seven? Or no, it's eight, right? Let me double check. Yes. Okay. Um, it's eight. Okay, cool. Now, um, tell me, like, what is your goals going into fourth quarter? Because you're full time now. Like, you've you've got you've got bills to pay. So, how how is it? How, are you just kind of ramping up your your game, putting a lot of items on there now, going into fourth quarter? Yeah, for fourth quarter, really my goal is to amp up the amount of listings that I have. Um, we moved into a new house, and in my old house, I had very, very limited space. So I had at most 70 listings at a time, um, and I would just very rapidly move that and you know cycle through those listings. But now I'm getting to the point where I have a little bit more storage um, in this new house, so I'm just really sourcing a lot trying to get those that listing count up and have a little more variety in the closet maybe dabble in some menswear we'll see <laughs> how so you're into vintage stuff like i would if i was at the bins i would probably pass by like 99.9 percent .9 of women's vintage um mm -hmm. did you always kind of know about vintage or like is there any websites that you use to help you with like identifying what era it is like how is there any like resources that you use for vintage clothing for women's? Yeah, so um, I've just always really been into vintage clothing. So really, I you know watch some YouTube, a bunch of YouTubers. You can always you know type in vintage fashion, and you know it'll pop up endless amounts of videos. There is a website. Let me see if I can find it. I think it's fashionguild.org. I could be wrong. Let me find. Um. Fashion Guild label. Okay, so it's vintagefashionguild.org. I don't even know if you guys are going to be able to see that. Um, but basically, they have a, um, a library of vintage labels. So you can type in, like, the brand, and it'll show you the different labels from different decades. Um, so you can kind of get an idea of what decade it's from and kind of pin that down. Um, with fash or with vintage, I always say that it comes with um, like it it comes to you as you go. Um, you just really get the hang of it, and you start realizing like certain styles, like shoulder pads, are most likely the '80s, or like you know these windbreakers that are typically '80s or '90s. You know, you just kind of get the feel of it as you go. That stuff is hot right now. '90s stuff, '80s, '90s. It is incredible. Have you have you ever sold on eBay? Um, I did. I started on eBay when I first started on Posh at the same time. And I, I have no qualms with eBay. eBay was 
was good to me. Um, but Poshmark just seemed to be a better fit for my style, the way I like to do things. And it, it was just a better fit for me. Well, I got to tell you, their, their shipping is amazing, guys. Like, literally, when you sell an item on Poshmark, you can print off your label and just drop it in any priority box and send it off. You know, it's it's incredible. Um, so the the whole thing with Poshmark that gets people is the sharing portion. Like, that, that's not a requirement. Obviously, it helps you with your, you know, getting sales. But you, you don't necessarily – I mean, people can see your items even if they're not shared, right? Right. So people can type in, you know – Say they're looking, I, Lucky Brand is just on my brain today. So let's go with that. They type in Lucky Brand, uh, peasant top, floral top, whatever. And whatever, you know, qualifies for that search will pop up. Now, the sharing puts you at the top of that search. So it automatically, in the Poshmark app, it automatically filters as just shared. So whatever item was just shared in that category is going to be at the top. So that's the the importance of sharing on Poshmark. And do you can you explain the whole party thing? Because I got so you you're it's funny you said because you're like yeah Poshmark likes to have parties, but like <laughs> with, there was parties in the app within Poshmark. Um, that's funny. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't actually until now. Like first, first off, do you know much about the CEO? Does he is he married? Does he when like is he when did he create Poshmark? Did he he he's a CEO? Did he create Poshmark? Do you know? Like I don't know any backstory. I believe he did. I believe I think he's the co-founder. So I think there is someone else that's maybe more behind the scenes. I'm not sure. I do believe he's single. I've never seen like I follow him on Instagram. I've never seen a wife or <laughs> significant other. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm just wondering because he's like he's partying it up, you know, and uh, and so. But anyways, guys, let's get back on topic. There, there is posh parties, guys, and I. The first and foremost, like all seriousness, I don't want you guys to get scared on having oh, because a lot of people are used to just kind of listing and letting it be, and then you know every 30 days relist or you know here on eBay. But for Poshmark, you don't have to be. You don't have to do the posh parties. You don't have to share your items, although that will help you. Um, but what is a posh party? So a posh party is they have them throughout the day. So there's a morning party. There's a lunchtime party, which I believe is at noon. There's one at either two or three o'clock. And then there's one um, at seven, I believe. Don't quote me. I may be wrong on the times. Um, and then there's one at 10. Um, to me, the late night parties are always the best time to share. Uh, that's when I see the most activity because a lot of people are at home during that time and they're winding down for the evening. Um, but basically a party on Poshmark, there is a theme. So like a menswear party or sometimes they do specific brands. Um, and you share any item from your closet that qualifies for that party and they have it filtered too. So if something doesn't qualify, it won't let you share it to the party. So it's not just madness. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so basically anyone can go on that party and see what all has been shared. It also stays on the app. So you can go back into previous parties. So if you've shared your item, it's always under that party tab. I, and guys, those of you who don't like sharing, I have heard like there's a lot of people out there that you can pay a very small amount to and they'll share your closet for you. I don't know how that works. Mm -hmm. Um, but I mean, if you, let's say you have a thousand items, you can pay somebody, you know, a couple, you know, times a day to share your closet. Um, yeah, there are, um, virtual assistants, people who, you know, are actual people <laughs> who are sharing. Um, but yeah, just be careful with that and do your research, please. <laughs> yeah, she said actual people. And I'm assuming we didn't want to see the, uh, say the, uh, the BOT word, right? Um, uh, say yeah. the B word. Yes, don't say don't say that in Poshmark. Don't say that in Poshmark. Um, <laughs> the CEO himself will come down, take a photo with you, and then cancel your, your account. No, I'm joking. It's uh, yes, we don't want to say that word. But all right, guys. So um, I think I'm getting like it, it's. I always love these interviews because I always get something myself. I didn't know about the description because I'm really light on my description. So I think that's going to help me. Um, you know, get get more active. I, I'm putting more items. I think it's super easy to cross post. Like it takes me an extra couple of minutes to cross post something from eBay to Poshmark, and that just gives me that much more exposure. 
And it was funny. I sold a coat the other day. Get this. So I put this on Instagram. I sold a vintage Nike coat for 150 bucks on eBay. Well, okay. I, I countered him 175 and his response was, you have that same coat on Poshmark for 250 <laughs> He looked on Poshmark. I don't know how that happened. I, I think what happened was he was, he was like, maybe Googled the jacket or, or Googled it and then found out. I don't know. It was really weird. Um, or yeah. he was a viewer. Yeah, that's funny. Um, it like floored me though. I was thinking, wow. Um, uh, and... <laughs> Yeah, it, it's well, it shocked me. And, and I'm reading the phone, you can probably see my face. I was like, What? He's so, gosh, <laughs> like, I haven't sold anything on there in a week, but um, okay. So, um, I do know too, and correct me if I'm wrong, but Poshmark's kind of like friendly towards like sharing other, like, it's not like eBay. eBay is like, you know, they don't mind you selling on other platforms, but if you cancel one of their orders, they're going to go after you. Like, we're Poshmark. They're, tell me a little bit about kind of the metrics within Poshmark. Like, what kind of metrics is it? And, um, for example, if you cancel an order, do they hold that against you? Is there any kind of metrics that way? Um, in my experience, I, I think they basically just give you a slap on the wrist. They'll send you an email like, this is not okay. It inconveniences the customer. Make sure it doesn't happen again. I'm not sure that there, like, how many times that can happen. Because, I mean, people, you know, it does give you a drop down when you go to cancel the order on Poshmark. It gives you, like, you have to supply a reason. Um, like, I just can't find the item. The item got lost or damaged. You know, all different kinds of reasons. So, I think it, it may depend on the reasoning that you give. Um, for me, the only reason I've ever had to cancel an order is because I missed a flaw somehow, um, and I've just gotten a slap on the wrist, basically. I, I love slap on the wrist. Um, love it. Compared, <laughs> yeah, compared to the other. Um, any way you can share multiple items at once, or do you have to share each individually? You have to share each individually, unfortunately. I get that question a lot, like, isn't there a way that I can just hit share all and it'll just share all? But I feel like that would cause a lot of chaos. As easy as it would be, I don't know that they could keep up with that. <laughs> That's a lot. Let's see here. Let's see here. And guys, I'm really, in, I appreciate your guys' um, you know, all 60 of you here, you know, helping out with this. Because I, I want to know, basically, like, um, in chat, let me know if you have heard about Christina because she has a great YouTube channel. So type one if you've already subscribed to her. Type two if you had no idea she was a Poshmark seller, an amazing source. Type two if you, you're not subscribed to her. I'm curious to see how many people – how many people follow me or are following other Poshers? I'm curious because I'm going to up my Posh game. We already have the first number one. Oh, my gosh. There are some, there are some people that love you in this chat. Stop. There's some people that love you in this <laughs> Look at this. Oh, no, you guys, not all of you guys are subscribed to her, are you? Oh. Wow. I'm going to go cry now. I'll be back. <laughs> wow. Um, one, yeah. one, 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 one. We only have one, two so far? Seriously, all you guys are subscribed? That's so nice. Oh, gosh. Wow. I'm She's not worthy. <laughs> she is my favorite. Uh-oh, you got competition. Um, Michelle, number two, you're the number two, two that we have. That, that, that was interesting. She's amazing. Okay, guys. I'm just curious. I'm, I'm always curious to see like what you, who other, what other people you follow. Uh, Christina, can you tell me like, is there other postures that you like to follow on social media, both on Instagram and or YouTube? All of them. Um, <laughs> One that comes to mind, and she actually had you in her Instagram story at eBay Open, is Lux Huntress on Instagram. I love her. I think she's the funniest human being I've ever encountered, and I love her. Um, for Poshmark, I think she actually does Poshmark and eBay. Um, Empty Hanger, she has an amazing Instagram and also an amazing YouTube channel. Um, she's very down to earth, very, you know, she's just, she knows what she's doing and she has good content um the deal queen recently started a youtube channel as well she's strictly poshmark now i think she may have been ebay once um but she's another really good one 
Um, I follow all them. I stalk everybody's. I that's I'm I'm like, I need um, Instagram anonymous, anonymous here for me <laughs> constantly. Um, what's the most successful thing to do in Posh to make a sell? You think? Um. I'm a, fir I'm a firm believer in descriptions. <laughs> I feel like a broken record, but if you supply all of the information that the customer needs, that means they don't have to ask any questions and they can just hit that buy button. And it's, it's that simple. I think those descriptions are everything. Obviously, well-lit photos is also really important. Um, but yeah, I mean, and... Also, I want to talk about like making a brand for yourself as well so that you can create repeat customers. Um, like for me, my customers know that they can find vintage pieces and brand names so they know what to look for in my closet um, and they can, you know, kind of gauge whether or not their needs are going to be met in my closet. So, you know, that really helps uh, with the repeat customers as well as really good customer service. Go the extra mile for people, and they'll do the same in return for you. I had a, um, a girl who follows me on Instagram, and I think, well, obviously she watches my YouTube channel as well because she reached out to me and said that she had seen this kimono in um, one of my, like, thrift with me videos, and she was like, I really want that kimono. Do you think you can go back and get it for me? And I did because I love that. She got super excited about it, and... Um, she ended up bundling it with another item in my closet, and I have no doubt that she'll be back. So, really good above and beyond customer service. Um, it's first and foremost, like bundling is basically where they can buy multiple items, right? Um, and uh, give me one second; I may have to sneeze, but nope, I'm good. I'm good. So that's really, really cool, though, because you can bundle items, and um, you know, and they can buy multiple items from you now. Christina, I've got a question. Are you one of those people that wrap it like a Christmas present and send it? Like, are you just putting in a poly bag and sending it out? Like, are you putting a little effort into your wrapping? Um, I'm not. I'm not a put a ribbon on it, put glitter on it type of girl. I put it in a clear, professional looking from the factory bag, put my business card on it and stick it in a padded envelope and that's it. And you know what? I I love to see people's packaging. I think it's awesome. If that's what you do, do it. Um, but as long as you're telling your customer thank you, you're putting a little thank you note. I do write, you know, thank you so much on the back of my business card. Um, but as long as as you're doing that and their item arrives as you know described and it's safe, I think that that's you know good enough, good, perfect. <laughs> Oh, I, I can't hear you. Okay, okay. Look at, look at this amazing photo. How, I have how, secrets. How are you getting that so white? How are you getting that so white? I have a secret weapon, and I'm glad you brought that up because I feel like not many people know about it. And I've actually done a YouTube video on, like, Poshmark 101 where I mentioned this, but I need to do an updated video. So... I use an app called Pro Knockout. My phone is going crazy. Here we go. All right, so this is what the app, I can't see. It's that middle app that says Pro Knockout. And you just go in there and let's see. You pick um, an item that you photograph. We'll do this one. And so you just pick an item that you photographed. As you can see, my wall is not white. My The paint in my house is like, you know, Florida beige. And <laughs> you just uh, trace around the item where it says auto cutout right at the bottom. There's a glare. So sorry. Um, and you just trace around the item and it removes the background and makes it white. That's it. <laughs> mic where drop. <laughs> where is the mic? I got a remote, but I don't want to drop it. Mic drop. That's it. All right, all right. Put put the uh, how, what is it again? What's the what's the app called again? It's called Pro Knockout. Okay, guys, somebody put that in chat. Pro Knockout. Pro Knockout. I wonder where they came up with that name. <laughs> I don't know. We're uh, knocking out the background. <laughs> yeah. that's true. That's true. That's true. Nugget, nugget. Um, nugget. Secret weapon. Yes. Yes. Um, 
that's why I have that's why that's why I have everybody on. I, I like to try to get I like to try to get these nuggets, you know what I mean, from everybody. Yeah. I learned so much. I had no idea that that existed, nor would I like think about Googling pro knockout for a uh, for an app to do that. But um, that's awesome, guys. Go get it. Is it does it cost any money or is it free? It's free. There's the there's the occasional ad in there, but you just exit out of it. It's fine. <laughs> Hey, we love free guys. Please, please hit the like button on the right hand side of the video. I need to get this video out to more people because I'm sure a lot of people don't know about Pro Knockout. That's amazing. Um, we're still getting ones in chat, by the way. So we're still getting a lot of ones in chat. Um, that you know, it's it. I appreciate the all the support you're giving, and I'll give her a link in there again if you guys want to subscribe to it real quick. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go cry now. I'm humbled. Right. <laughs> hey, hey, people love you in this chat. Plus, they're excited about Pro Knockout. I don't know. I, I guarantee right now there's a lot of fingers being tapped on on phones. Yes. <laughs> um. So tell me a little bit, like, um, well, first let's go through this haul that you have behind you. Let show me some of these items. All right. Let's get some of this. Um. I have. It's all vintage. I have one brand name. <laughs> But first, I've got this 100% linen Eileen Fisher top. And the reason it's kind of plain, but the reason I picked it up is because it's metallic. And metallic is really, really hot this fall. So that's why I picked it up. Um, another, and this is all from the bins yesterday, actually. So I'm glad I did that. <laughs> um, I've got a little um, mini bag, mini crossbody bag. This is vintage Nine West. Just needs a little, little clean, and she's good to go. Um, I've got this cardigan that is like very like biggie and I love it. I love these kind of sweaters, like the Kugi sweater type or however you say <laughs> I feel like I'm always saying that wrong. <laughs> uh, but it's just this button front cardigan, very, you know, grandpa. We love that. Um, another trend this fall is animal print. So I've got this cheetah print, uh, sheer it's vintage. It's still got the shoulder pads in it. I'm going to leave that to whoever picks it up if they want to take it out or not because shoulder pads are also coming back. So there's that. It's a little tie-up crop top. Um, got some mom jeans, some vintage mom jeans. You can never go wrong with that ever. And the last piece is another, another grandpa sweater. Can you tell I have a thing for, <laughs> for grandpa sweaters? Love them. <laughs> That's it, though. Guys, guys, I got to show you this. It's funny. It was my first video that I, ever, I binge watched of her. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready for this? Don't Almost scar to... them. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how it works here. Let's see. Let's do it like this. Okay, ready? I'm scared. Okay. Oh, it's a good one. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's the beginning. Oh, it's a good one? There's, there's better one? Talk. And like those, you know, awkward first YouTube videos. No, no, no. I, but guys, if you're if you're not busy. Greetings. I don't I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. Dude, I it's so surreal in this house. Oh my gosh. Let me uh I love, yeah. I'd love to leave the bloopers in because I feel like I feel like that's what makes you relatable is the bloopers because I'm not perfect and I hate watching YouTube channels where I'm like, God, they're perfect. Why am I not perfect? So I feel like it's human. Let's do it again. I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm sorry. It's really, really cool. I like your YouTube channel. <laughs> you do a little editing too. I, I really like that. I, I think it's cool. Well, okay. Um, <laughs> so many ones in here. I know you guys all seen that. Um, okay, so let's see. Do we have a question? I have a ton of vintage mom jeans I just bought from a thrift store. All vintage, new with tags. Wow. From a store wow. closet closing. But I'm having a tough time selling them. What price point should I be at? I wonder what type of – oh, is it – oh, that's the brand, vintage mom jeans. Gotcha. Um, I don't know. I don't sell any vintage. I do have. Oh man, I just lied. I apologize, guys. I've got two of those jeans I bought from Ross Women's. Um, and I don't know if I've sold any yet, but 
I, it depends. Are you selling on eBay or and or Posh? Oh, and that brings me to another quick question. Can you look up comps on Posh? You can. So um, you can type in, like, say I found a new with tags um, ASTR label bodysuit. Um, I just got one of those from, from TJ Maxx. So I want to look that up on Poshmark to see what it sold for. So you just type it into the search bar, and then you can filter – um, by size, if it's a specific size that you found, um, let's say I found a size medium and I want to see what the comps are on that specific size. Cause that does, that does make a difference somewhat. Uh, but it does help also to know how many of them are on the app. Um, especially if you're buying, you know, from TJ Maxx and Marshall's, uh, but you can filter by sold. You can filter like lowest uh, price to highest price um, and all that. So yeah, you just filter by sold and it'll tell you, it'll pop up all of the, all the listings that sold. Yeah, I think that's huge. I actually didn't know that up until recently that you can do comps. And um, so it's incredible. What's going on? Swamp? Welcome in my man. You're, you're missing the, you're missing the nuggets that are falling right now. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So I just want to say, I, 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 I think it's pretty amazing. Um, the fact that you go full time and you can be on Poshmark, you know, it, I think it's uh, a lot of people don't realize that, you know, there's a lot of people crushing it in Poshmark and it's super easy to list. Like it's way easier to listen on Poshmark than it is eBay. Um, and so I think it's really, really, really cool. I got another question. Can you separate solds when in a closet? Seems like they're all over when looking. <laughs> oh, I'm, oh, so stitch is a buyer. Um, and she's probably saying that I, I understand what you're saying. When you sell something, it has a little sold logo logo. Can you take that out of when you're looking and or on your own closet? Um, uh, like, like if I go onto someone's specific closet, can I filter ju like, just see what they've sold? Yeah. Well, I think even their closet, like for example, if you go to my closet, um, you know what, if you go to my closet, you'll see everything I'm selling, but then you also see like pictures of stuff I've already sold. Right. They're just hanging out. Um, I, I mean, you can delete the listing if you are not one of those people who likes to leave it up. I just move mine to the bottom of my closet because I have my YouTube channel and I like for people to be able to reference that when pricing items so they can see what it's sold for or, you know, what I'm pricing things at. So I just move mine down to the bottom of my closet, uh, but you can delete them. Yeah, I, I mean, because I do a lot of one-offs, so I, I think the likelihood of me getting them again. So I may delete mine, actually. I didn't know you can do that. See? Yeah. I know, guys. Jeez. <laughs> I, I get more from my guests every single day. It's incredible. Um, so we're, get, we're getting out to the bottom here, guys. If you have questions, let, let me know. I do have about three more questions for Christina. First, I want to know what has, like, what has social media done for you to help you with your Poshmark closet? and going full time, like what has going, what has like social media, Instagram, YouTube done for you to help you with your business? Um, well, I just look at it as a marketing tool. It's free. You know, you can, you can reach so many people on Instagram and YouTube. Like it's, it's never ending. And also the community on, you, you know, you spoke earlier on how Poshmark seems to be like a little community and eBay as well. Um, it's a community. You get tips and tricks from other people. You see, you know, you get inspiration from what other people are doing. Um, and it, it's just, it's a community. We're all here to help each other. We're all in the same boat. And I think it's a really, really good platform. Social media is, you know, at, it's there at your fingertips. So use it to, to the fullest extent. I started YouTube, um, just because first and foremost, I'm a huge fan of YouTube. I watch YouTube more than I watch Netflix. <laughs> like Shane Dawson is life. <laughs> I watch his documentaries here. It's so good. Like YouTube is just such a good platform. And my business has grown so much from YouTube and just from like putting my name out there. I, I noticed the more my social media grows, the more uh, customers I get on Poshmark. I would echo that tenfold. Um, we forgot this question, but I know we got a lot of guys in here, right? And um, they're they're wondering, is Poshmark for me? Is Poshmark for me? Um, and so, can you elaborate on that? Is there guys that sell on Poshmark? Is there is there po is it Poshmen? 
I think Poshman. Poshman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Poshman. I don't there is a market. I mean, the CEO is a man, <laughs> so that's nice. Um, you sell on Poshmark. So obviously there are men on Poshmark. Um, who is it? You had him on it's a couple. Uh Penguin. Posh Penguin, he's killing it on Poshmark. So there is definitely a men's market. And I feel like there needs to be more men because men like fashion too, you know? So we need to stop discriminating. There's so many, there's so much women's clothing, so much kids clothing, uh, but where's the men's style at? So I would love to see that more men on there. Oh yeah, I, I did see um, something I can't unsee on Poshmark. I think it was on Poshmark. Um, uh, it was it was a guy he had on like I don't know if it's a speedo or something. You could the one thing about Poshmark that I find intriguing is you can model your own clothes, yeah. right? Um, and I think that's that's really cool for most people, but for me it's not. Um, I would not look good modeling my own clothes, but uh, I think it's really cool. It's intriguing. It's really a social app. Um, I like it, and um, I follow what 5,000 people on there. So guys, if I'm not following your Poshmark closet, put it, put it in below down below and I'll, I'll give you guys a follow. I can't promise I'll share anything cause I'm kind of lazy right now on posh, but I definitely need to get back into that. So put your closets yeah. below. I'd love to follow you. With the uh, men's clothing too, I do want to say now is the time to diversify because especially if you're only selling women's start putting some men's stuff in because Poshmark just released a new feature uh, about a month ago, where you can filter the entire app, uh, women's, men's, luxury, kids. So if you're not selling men's stuff and someone has the app filtered as just men's, that's all they're going to see and they're not going to see your closet at all. So now is the time to sell men's stuff. <laughs> now is the time to sell men's stuff, guys. You heard it? Clothing by Swamp. <laughs> I think that's such a cool name. <laughs> Swamp picker. Um, okay. So I did that. Can you see chat, by the way, Christina? I can't. Oh, okay. I was going to say we can, we can, you can do one closet name and I'll do the other closet name. There's some pretty interesting ones here. I think you guys, it's really, really cool. I'm going to make sure I send you guys follows. Um, and when I get into it, start sharing some more closets. I need to get more active. I think obviously kind of like, eBay, Poshmark's got their, you know, algorithm and the more active you are, the more you're probably going to sell. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, but I, I, I really appreciate you coming on board. I'm sorry for the rocky start. Holy cow. <laughs> My life is rocky start. So you know what? We're here for it. And thank you so much for, for having me and being so gracious and kind. I, I think you out of everybody understand the rocky starts, right? Yes. Definitely. Uh, <laughs> I, that was the first video I watched of you, and I was like, okay, we got to get her on ASAP. Uh, <laughs> incredible. Um, swap picker, I can't find your closet on Poshmark. See, guys? Swap in the closets. I like it. Let's uh, let's get this. It's, uh, it's, it's that time of year, like fourth quarter. Um, whether it's used clothing, obviously new sells really well fourth quarter, but try to do as much – much as you can right now if you're either on you know it doesn't matter what platform you're on, platform you're on but try to do a little bit extra compared to what you're used to doing going into fourth quarter so you guys can reap the benefits even q1's really good too i think so um it's going to be really really good nice. uh, christina we always leave off on a bang and uh what i mean by bang is really inspirational it's got to be really inspirational i know you're going to get this um so do you have any any inspiration? It, it doesn't need to be Poshmark related. It's just life in general. Any inspiration you can leave us on? Yes. Um, first and foremost, be yourself and go to the beat of your own drum. There are so many, so many resellers out there, and it's so great to get inspiration. Like, go on Instagram and see what everybody's doing. But at the end of the day, it's your business. I always say this, and my subscribers will know. It's your business. Do what works for you. And don't worry about what everyone else is doing. Don't. And, and don't compare yourself because that is the killer 
of all dreams is comparison. So be yourself. People really can tell when you're being authentic and they vibe off that positivity. And I really feel like when you compare yourself to others, it just brings this negative cloud over you. And, you know, the universe, it goes with that negative. So if you're exuding positivity and you're surrounding yourself with positive, that's what you're going to attract. So that's my inspirational <laughs> talk. Guys, she is the she is pretty perfect, isn't she? She's a pretty amazing. Um, seriously, though, go to her YouTube. Uh, real quick, I, the one question I forgot to ask you is what's in store for your YouTube? Do you have like regular days that you upload? Kind of give us a, a snapshot of your YouTube real quick. Yeah, so right now I upload every Tuesday and Friday. I would love to do an extra day right now. I'm just so busy. Uh, but maybe an extra day will be coming soon. I also like to kind of mix it up on my YouTube channel so it's not all about Poshmark. Um, I do some lifestyle stuff in there. Um, I do some fashion. So I do a little vlogging. I dabble in the vlogging. So everything is is to come the sky is the limit <laughs> a little makeup posh blog. <laughs> i've uh, gotten some requests for makeup and i'm not i don't know maybe <laughs> guys um <laughs> boys <laughs> yes it, honestly it's um people like one reason why we invite people on the show mm -hmm. is and i ask personal questions is people like to get to know you as a person and um, like outside of reselling, because we are people outside of reselling, and um, I, um, I that's what that's the most that's the most fun for me is doing the beginning part of these shows and find out kind of like what makes you resell, but also like who you are as a person. And um, yeah, I I just think that um, you've got a lot of cool stuff going on, guys, and I appreciate you coming on board. We've got a jam packed day. We um, we have another amazing posh posher. Is that thing po posture we have amazing posture um <laughs> posture. Uh, 6 p.m pacific standard time guys it's all about posh today um so join 6 p.m pacific standard time tonight and uh she is crazy cool and um, christina is crazy cool i appreciate i appreciate all the the nuggets you did all the information uh the vintage clothing the amazing app that you proposed to us that i'm sure everybody downloaded so i appreciate you Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for having me. All right, guys. Well, we're going to call it. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. A few more hours. In fact, five more hours. We're going to be live again, guys. Have a great day, and I will see you tonight. See you guys. Bye, guys.